for the record, I'm Rod Skirvin, president of the Broward County PBA, and I represent the men and women of the Margate Police Department. We have contracts with the officers, sergeants, and lieutenants. You have recently made the position of major, which are out of our purview, but they are still members of the Broward County PBA. It brings me no pleasure to be here tonight uh, to say anything disparaging about Chief Galaska or anyone else in this room. In fact, every conversation that I've had with the chief has been pleasant and I felt at the time productive. In fact, I was not even gonna come here tonight and speak until I was made aware that it was being represented that this was a union ploy to get higher wages and better benefits. And I can only assume, Mr. Mayor, that came from a conversation I had with you. Correct. And I have no idea. Let, let, let me stop you right there and I'll refresh your memory. No, no let, me, let me continue, please, since it's my, well, my no, time. No, just on that, because I want to make it clear, when I spoke to you on the phone about the letter you had sent, I said about the no confidence vote, and you said that it was more of the chief could not get us what we want. And I said, what do you mean by that? He said, he's not able to negotiate our contracts to get these guys upper more money and be in the top one third of the county. You said that they were in the bottom third. They are. Okay, so you, you admit the conversation we had. It, it, that's that not, but that's not what I said, and that's not the context in which that came about. Mr. Skirvin, did you also say that the next union negotiation, you were gonna come in, offer something to the city. If we didn't take it, you were going straight to impasse. I did said, you say that? I said, we're gonna give you two meetings and we will go to impasse. You said one. No, not you one. You said one. Mr. Skirvin, I'm not making this up. I, well, you apparently me. you are, sir. No way. Okay. I don't lie, Mr. Skirvin. We had a conversation. You I said, agree we did have a conversation, but, but apparently you've misunderstood several facts in that conversation. What and, else did and I would, would you like to let me complete my Go statement ahead. to the rest of the commission? Thank you. I appreciate that. Like I said, I was not even going to come to this meeting until my, my conversation with the mayor was rep rep misrepresented online. And I feel bad for the people that came here tonight thinking that this was a union ploy. In fact, you should know the union did not even get involved with the vote of no confidence until after the independent investigation was complete. The union did not call for that independent investigation. The commission did. And I believe, Mr. Mayor, you voted for that. I had to. You have to? Going by our terms. So you're saying you didn't want had, to? We had to vote to move the investigation. I asked the question at the meeting, and he said we had to do it according to FDLE, we had to do it. I'm glad you did do it because the, the, the findings as were pointed out were astonishingly bad in reflection to the chief's actions. One of the very few things that the Broward County PBA does not in get involved with and provide attorneys for, for our members are those kind of complaints, hostile work environment, or anything of that nature. That falls under federal purview, not us. I had nothing to do with the investigation. It was after the investigation that the members called me unendingly, begging me, begging me to be a voice for them because they were in fear of retribution. Multiple females of this department feel oppressed and afraid to come to work because of what might happen to them. They cannot come to work and act like every other male in this department does. They have to work twice as hard and receive every chore that should be beneath them that gets given to them. If they're senior officers, senior lieutenants, senior sergeants, they are given menial tasks that should be going to junior people. It is incredibly rare for a command staff picked by the chief that's sitting 
to vote a no confidence against their boss. That's unheard of. And you should take note of that. Not only the officers of this department, the sergeants of this department, the lieutenants of this department, and the majors of this department voted no confidence. You cannot ignore that and say it's a union ploy. There's something wrong in the city of Margate. This chief, I met with him when he was the intern and getting the, the permanent job, I was more than willing to sit down and help him. We knew that the department was broken. We agreed the department was broken and we knew it might at the end of the day be a losing cause for him to fix. It was a monumental task. Unfortunately, not only do I not think he fixed it, I think he made it worse. On this is a month that we celebrate in America as Women's History Month. I hope you realize that and what's happening to the women in 2024 of the Margate Police Department. What's happening? Read the report, I guess you haven't read. Read the report our chief just gave us. That, that doesn't mean nothing, right? I applaud the fact that he came and apologized. Not that part. But he's not gonna fix it at this point. And you will. I will help any way I can. How did you help? But I How can't you fix prior? it. You just said that they've been screaming, they can't go to work, they're afraid to go to work. What have you done when they were telling you this? They came to me after. Oh this vote uh, after this investigation. I don't know why you're looking at me with doubt. It's your own employees that are begging you for when relief. Done. When you're done. So you can ignore them. I hope the rest of the commissioners do not. I'm not here to bash the chief in any way, shape or form, chief. I'm not here to bash you. But this is not about Joe Galaska, the neighbor the brother, the father, the baseball coach. This is about Chief Galaska of the Margate Police Department. And what I just saw on, on the screen, I had not seen before. I had heard there were texts that were extremely offensive, demeaning, and that should require immediate action by you as elected officials. But that was the first time I saw them. <clears throat> All right. Stop. They got to go, but they can't. If any of you, and I think it was mentioned, if it was any officer that said that about the chief or any other supervisor, they wouldn't be here. I'd be fighting for their job back. They were unquestionable. And I don't think you can disagree with that. And I don't know how you can look at any woman in this room with a straight face and say that's not a problem. And sir, a month, I find appalling. I'm sorry, sir. I just find that appalling that that's a, a month and everything's okay after what was done and said. I would say and, that everything was okay. Hold on, hold on. Don't miss it. Don't, okay. I didn't, I didn't say that. Okay, a month and some training. I don't think Tra that that fixes and, it. And I agree with the vice mayor that in six months, if we don't see any changes, we make more changes. Okay. I, 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 I applaud that. I applaud that. Okay, because I will... After the last meeting we had here, I went home and my niece was looking at the printouts of what was look of what we saw some of these. And my niece asked me, what would you do if it was Sophia's name, my daughter's name there? I said, I'd go for the guy's throat. Mm, I agree. And she said, well, are you going to do this? Funny. And I think that this is a middle ground I, there has to be there has to be something done this is unacceptable 
I just don't think it deserves a firing. Um, but it it deserves it deserves punishment. It deserves a whole lot of stuff. Um, I just can't fire him on this. It, it's it's. But believe me, I have a daughter. I have a niece. They will look, at, and this is this has been one of the harder decisions I've had to make up here in seven years. I understand. Mr. Mayor, I appreciate your passion. You know, it's I, not passion. Well, it, it comes off as passion. It's fairness. Well, I don't know about that. I think everybody up there has a, their version of fairness. Okay. Um, you seem very passionate about yours um, in defending the chief, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I really don't. But in my view, what's fair to them? What's fair to her? Look at her and tell me that what you're saying you think is fair to her for what's been done to her. She's been humiliated in front of the whole department. She's a lieutenant. How does she supervise some of these people now? How does anybody in that command staff have confidence in the chief that he's a good leader moving forward? How do the officers, the street level officers, knowing how he's talking to sergeants about a lieutenant, have confidence in what the chief thinks about them? It's broken. The promotional process that was brought up, that's a good old boy system. That needs to go. And those are the things I'm more than happy to sit down with any of you, the chief, the city manager, anybody, and to help fix. I'm not here to cause a bigger problem. I'm here to, to help the pro fix the problem that is existing within this police department. It's infected the entire police department. And there's no easy fix. And this chief has had over two years to try to fix it, and I don't think he has. And I don't see how he will moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. So then, just so I am clear, because I have broken this up into two different parts. There is nothing that would ever make me think that what was put in print on any day of the week by anybody at any time would be okay. Correct. There's no word. There are no words that I can use for how disgusting I find that to be. So I separated that to clearly saying there will be a consequence because it were my son who did that. After I washed his mouth out with soap, I'd smack him on the top of the head mm -hmm. so he never forgot it. Mm -hmm. That's my personal opinion. I looked at and tried to say, there's a systemic problem with the department, period. He may have inherited it. It clearly didn't get fixed, but I will tell you, that I believe, quite frankly, some of it's from the command staff straight down. Because as I've said before, and I'll say it now out loud, the outs became the ins, the ins became the outs from the other, and everybody in the middle is sick and tired of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think I see here. The people who really were never on either side and just came to work to do their job. And they're the ones that look up and say, this is a, a horrible place to work possibly because I don't see an end to it. So are you then saying to me that giving any sort of chance for six months, that I don't know that anything can be done. But I also look at a 30 year career that in some way, shape or form, I would rather see end on a better note than what's happening tonight. Your thoughts. <clears throat> you know, in speaking with the people that uh, or at least some of the people that were affected uh, by the comments, the actions, the culture uh, of the, what's going on right now. Um, I've spoken to them about several options. Um, we're, not, we're not here to humiliate anybody like they were humiliated. We, I don't want that. Um, I don't think that's professional in any, any way, and I'm here to be professional about the problem we have. And I'm, like I said, I'm here to help you fix it if I can. And that's what I'm trying to find a way to do. Um, I think if you assure us that you will take this up in six months, 
that's a possibility. Um, obviously, I, I think the men and women that were affected would prefer he be terminated tonight. Oh, I get that, that. That's their preference. I get that. And I think that that is justified. I think you have every right to do that. And I think it's almost a stretch not to do that other than we're trying to save some face for the city of Margate and this police chief that's been here for 30 years. But I will say this. In no way, shape or form do I think he is going to change the culture of this police department in six months. And when we, if we were to meet again in six months, I will be here again. And it'll be a stronger conversation. If you I, I won't be here to fix it at that point. I'm going to uh, tell you, I'll go on record saying, if nothing changes, I won't vote to retain. I agree. I have a comment. Go for it. Uh, what, what do you consider change? Because we had a third party investigator who's here. So and let me interrupt you before you go in on that, because this is important to your to your topic. Two things that I didn't mention. You said there was mention that there is going to be an exodus. There is going to be an exodus. And I can tell you firsthand why. Because people are coming to me asking for me to help them exit. And I'm going to do that because they shouldn't be working in this environment when other departments, they can flourish. That's one. Two. I by no means mean this as a threat, but you have more complaints coming. There's more text messages coming and there's more embarrassment coming to the city. And, and you're okay with that? I'm not okay with so embarrassing what are, you doing, what are you doing to try to fix this problem? How do I fix texts that were already sent, sir? How do I fix that? I can't retract somebody else's text. Okay, so you're checking, can we check everybody's phone, everybody in the department? Just I, I don't know text? what you're asking. There will be official complaints filed. You'll get the information. You'll have to do more investigations. And when this investigator, if you give her the green light to continue on, it's the can of worms has been open, sir. Okay. Pandora's box. It's been open yes. for a long time, Rod. Nobody's done anything. That's the problem. Well, I think we're here tonight to do something. Rod, how long have you been representing this union? A uh, little over two years. Two years. It was a disaster when you know we got it. It was a total disaster. Yes, sir. A total disaster. You even told me on the phone you love the chief. You think he's a great guy. What have you guys done to try to fix this? I know us, when I found out about it, I got a list of stuff here that as policymakers, we could try to fix. But as far as if he stays, more texts are going to start coming. This isn't going to end. No one's going to win. It's already no one's winning. It's, win. it's not about winning. So, so Rod, what is it about then? So when you come for the union negotiation, you guys get your money, the next sheet comes in, everything's good. Is that, is that the win? That's not the win. Then what is that? You that, that phone? You're, 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 you're combining two different topics, sir. And let me... How, what let are you me... talking about two different topics? We spoke on the phone. You told me out of your mouth. He doesn't negotiate for us. I said, do chiefs negotiate? You said they always do. They absolutely. We have chiefs negotiate in other cities all the time that sit at the table. But he doesn't. He doesn't. And that's the problem. That was one of the problems you told me. I said he couldn't pro convince the commission, the electeds, to get better benefits to keep and attract new people to the city of Margate. Correct, now we agree. I didn't say that that's why this investigation took place. You told me that was part of it. No, absolutely Rod, not, sir. May you rest in peace, the officer who passed away. Monday morning, I was told, Chief Galaska never even met the family. Chief Galaska wasn't going to the briefings. There's gonna be, a, I didn't tell no, you that. I didn't, I'm not saying you. I don't know what I'm you're talking saying about. You, but, but I'm saying but I don't know there's going to be a no confidence about. vote. I was told that Monday morning. Then come to find out half the stuff that I was told wasn't even true about the chief. Chief did go meet the family. So now your union people here are being told chief's checked out. He hasn't been to the family. He hasn't done this. I, I have not. No I, I, wasn't, I wasn't told that. So it's called I don't, damage control. Well, I don't know what you're it, talking about. You went after him. You went I after him when he was vulnerable and you're going to continue doing it. You just said it. I just said what? I, what you just said made no sense to me because I didn't have any of those conversations. So a no confidence vote doesn't have to go before you? Absolutely. Okay. I was told Monday there was going to be a no confidence vote. Okay, there was. I think you just, you guys just run it, correct? Yes, sir. That's it. We just, we just provide. Facilitate the yes. action. Yes, sir. That's it. 
Okay. It's we'll, not us speaking. We'll see how it's this works out. Okay. Is there any other questions for me? I'm sorry for interrupting you. No, it's okay. Mm. I was just asking what the change is. I hear it's not going to change. The outs become the in, the ins, the outs. You need someone from the outside at this point. Okay. But going back to the change, because everyone's, it's like all oh, conspiracy, conspiracy. So in six months, we have more complaints and more proven text messages and more this and more that. We're going to dismiss that too and say, well, you know, it's all corrupt. It was just another conspiracy, you know. Uh, you never heard me say when is it i'm just saying public people things comments i read everything i don't comment but i read a lot oh, okay I don't, I don't oh, for the it. record i didn't read anybody's response on anybody's any facebook page i read I everything i chose not to do that i, I didn't answer everything. phone calls i decided this was for me to decide what i was going to do i i just i don't know what the change would be change would be that people start to see an improvement in the morale and the desire to come to work. And if that doesn't exist. How's that, how's that gonna exist if more stuff's coming? You have I a- I don't care, more stuff FDLE, coming. I'm working on the stuff I got FDLE now. FDLE and state attorney. Oh, Antonio, state let attorney. me interrupt you for a minute. You, you keep, you keep waving that, that report. You that. That report, first of all, is under investigation. And this. it's an opinionated report. It has nothing about Alaska and fairness. And it's, it's basically questioning the report that was done two, two years, years ago. ago. So yes, you're, you're waving it like it's like oh, it, all the information is here. It's not there. I can't go into the information that's on it. If you actually read the whole thing and click all the links, it's the methods that they were done and the tactics that but were that used. But that ship has sailed. So listen, I'm going to make a, because I want to, on the record where I stand, I want to make a motion to terminate the chief immediately, not, not a cause, give him his 10 weeks, and if I can get a second so we can vote on it. Second. All right, now we're going to discussion. Joanne, I just want to say a couple things to you. You sat there and you praised and read your five pages as normal. You handed out your 50 sheets of copyrighted, highlighted things. Um, you talked about on and off duty, correct? The morale, they did the ethics, they should be. Our former chief, do did, did you know the report that was done with the former chief? You, you familiar with it? I did not. You, you don't know? I did not read it. I'm the you did not read it. I did I not read it. it. So, so you made a decision on a chief without even looking into the investigation, without even going by any information. I'm not going to read a bunch of what? things that contain uh, explicit you read these. sexual acts. You read these? You have no problem reading these. Uh, they're not the same kind of report. What, a penis and in the hand is a different than a, than a text? What, and for where, you, where do you draw the line? And for you to come after me, oh for Mr. What? Mayor, is... Joanne, I'm just saying by your statements of what you said while you're basing your decision, you I have do. no problem. You know what? And I stand, on, and I taking... stand by what I say. That's great. Get upset. That's good. Hey, Get out. Get out. Guys, there was a report. There was an investigation done by our former chief. Pages and pages of pictures. Nothing to compare to this. The reason what I'm saying is her little spiel she did. She kept, she was the only one to vote to keep the former chief. The only one. You were the only one. However, some text messages said, whether they're true or not, you're gonna crucify the chief after being here for 30 plus years. Well, they have to be true. What Never you said though, Tommy, I mean. So, I, so it's not true then? It doesn't matter if it's true or not. The chief, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. Saying that stuff. Oh, you're right. You, you, yeah, Tommy, you guys gotta right. separate this person didn't you, get a raise it put all that aside look at the text so in other words if somebody texts said. something and it's not true you base a decision on that the chief said those words he it, said it we're not saying the words the, the, the it text doesn't matter he shouldn't be talking about employees a female like that whether it's true or not i'm not here to decide if what was mentioned was actually true or not the fact is that's something that the but chief of police said. said, and you know that if one of us up here said it, I have no problem out. saying anything I want to feel. We, if I have an opinion, I'll say it. Everybody knows that. I, agree with you. I have no problem well, with why that. Why don't you do the right thing? No, we that's will do the right thing. thing. Consider to be the well, right thing. We're fine. That's why, right there's, that's why there's one, five of us One up month here. in termination, there's no compromise there. I heard two of you talk about being fair and doing compromise. I think that 
So I think that he should go. So it's there's right. no compromise of it. All right, hold on. So Guys, I had the floor. Guys, I was still speaking. Hold on one second. Every one of us agrees here our system is broken. Yes. Everyone agrees there's a hostile work environment that carried over from the last thing. And I talked to the city manager. We have to address some of these problems as a commission. I think the, the testing needs to be revamped. I don't agree with it. I think the anti-fraternization has to come into play. We have probably nine, 10 maybe couples that are police officers. That could cause a potential problem. So there's certain things we need to do as a commission. I know uh, Commissioner Serio has his motion. It was seconded. Um, the, public the public is going to come up, but I just don't want you guys are going to be able to speak one time. So if we come back to it and there's another thing, Can we, say we don't want to hear it again. Say we agree. What do you want to do? Well, if they say they agree it. with uh, the same. Technically, they, they, they're allowed to come up and speak. I don't want to hold anybody from not speaking, but I, I don't want to be here till. I, I don't mind being here. Trust me. Amendment. What's that? It can be amended if that's not what you want. Can I, just, can I just give one comment regarding the motion? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, in 20, I just want to, this relates to the motion. In 2023, the Florida legislature, you know, passed a new uh, statute, um, which provides the chief of police with an opportunity to speak following receipt of a notice of his termination. So if there is any motion uh, to <laughs> terminate, that motion needs to recognize the fact that there's a statute in here and the and that he needs to be given a to hearing. your next meeting to come back with the ability to speak in response. That doesn't mean that you can't vote tonight and make his termination effective at 1159 the date of your next meeting, but you just need to provide him with that opportunity uh, to come back before the termination is effective. It's a hearing. It's, it's not a hearing. hearing. No, it's not a hearing. It's a hearing. I guess probably the easiest way to do this is if somebody wants to amend it, amend it now so we can be on a level playing ground because obviously we're so, so hearing. So my, so my, <coughs> you know, my recommendation would be with respect to the motion made by Commissioner Serio that he include the provision that the termination would be effective as of 1159 p.m. on April 3rd, which is the date of your next meeting. And that uh, during this period of time that the chief would be on leave uh, with pay. So that's that's my motion. You have to second it again. If that's I will. Going to do. Okay. I will okay. second it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Joanne, are you on? Yeah, I'm. I am on, because this has nothing to do with the Shaw investigation. So you mudding the waters. It does have a lot to bringing, do with it. No, it doesn't. It has a lot to do with it. No, it doesn't. We all, we all admit by, it carried by, over. By bringing up that has nothing to do with my investigation on this. How can you sit up here and condone this kind of behavior? Commissioner, how can you listen to these women pouring their hearts out, telling you what was wrong, and you're going to recommend six months? It's not going to be fixed. It's damaged. It's broken. This has been on the news. The city's reputation is stained. I don't condone what he said. I would never condone. And commissioner, he would go after their throats, but yet suspend for one month. How can you how can you go after somebody's throat if it happened to your child and not recommend anything more severe? because I had to step back and give it deeper thought. You know, the chief had the opportunity, and I wasn't going to say this, but the chief had the opportunity to come up to every single one of us and apologize and say something to the effect of, I am so sorry. I did speak I, with the I, chief. Yes. Did he initiate it or did you? It was in my office. I, don't I did. I initiated I don't, it. I don't, I don't, okay. I, honestly, I don't remember if I. He should have come up to it. each one of us individually and apologized and said, I'm so sorry for what happened. I don't know what happened. I, I regret doing it, but I love my job. I love the city of Margate. I will fight to keep my job. What can I do to make this right? That never happened. Actually, How do you just come up to every female? 
that he said it to before he came up to us. And I told him yesterday, when I asked the question, which surprised me the answer, did you apologize? And the answer was, I'm gonna do it tonight. And I said, why now, why not before? Because I know what I would have done. I know that if this were been me, I would have stepped back and said, you know what? The system's broken, I inherited something broken, and for the good of the city and the people who work for it, I would be walking away and let somebody heal it. That would be me. That's always been me. That's, I can't make somebody say that, but that's what I would have done. How, how, do you, how, do you, how do you accept, and I'm gonna say it, I've been nice, I've used the word untruth, untruthfulness, but now I'm gonna say it. How do you accept lying? How do you accept lying from the chief of police who has the three lies in the report? Were you not, did you not listen to what I, I Oh, I, read? I absolutely listened to everything. Well, how do you, how do I you accept that? I heard lie up here as well. How do you, how do you accept that from the chief of police? How do you expect how do you, from a commission? How board? do you expect him to have respect from the rest of his unit when you know the man does not tell the truth? How can you not think that that's not severe? I think it's all severe. Well, then how can these people have trust in him? I'm trying to make the punishment fit the crime. I think the punishment does fit the crime. Then I will tell you that I have never met a man who in a locker room wouldn't make disgusting remarks about females. The stupidity here is about judgment. The right. judgment sucks. You, the word I would you, use I'm going to go, for, I'm gonna go further. To judgment it. should never be questioned. That's true. And, and yes, it's a term that I think came up in the 2016 locker room talk. Okay. Oh, I don't, and, and I don't listen, forgive it. I, I, I don't forgive it. I grew up, I've done it. Okay. I work on construction. The mayor does. I'm sure we all do it. Women don't but, do but it. Let me tell you something though. And I'm not saying it's necessarily okay, but there's a difference. You don't talk about a city employee to another city employee right. about city business that way. You're right. And I'm not saying that that type of talk is acceptable. I would not talk uh, in front of my daughter like that. No. I've done it. We've all, and if any guy in here says they have never done it, they're definitely lying. But to do it about an employee to another employee is crossing a line. It's poor judgment. You, you, the, Chief of police and the fire chief, they make decisions of life and death. You can't question their judgment. It, 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 it just, it cannot be questioned. And, I, and 100% about the chief coming to me, you know, as mentioned at the last meeting, well, I blast the chief. Let me tell you something, I didn't blast the chief for months. When the first complaint came in, I never heard a single word. It was rejected, I was sticking up for him. And when it came back again with the text messages, but before we started the investigation, I mean, if I was in his shoes, I would have came right away to my boss and said, listen, I'm so sorry, or it's not true, or whatever, whatever the case may be. And the, you know what, it really bothers me because he is a friend or was, a, I, whatever, prob probably hard to like someone that wants your job, but I considered him a friend. I figured he could come and talk to me. And, and the same thing with the previous police chief. It was similar, the behavior and what the, I'm not comparing the two behaviors as far as the acts, but the, after the fact, the other chief didn't come to me either. And it just bothered me. It really bothered me that you wouldn't come and try to explain your case. Oh, I don't think there was it. anything to explain. The eight and a half by 11 yeah, spoke well, for but, themselves. But again, well, he did come I, I saw them. Like, there was nothing to explain. It was explicit. Right. It was, but you should have seen what I saw. I don't know why our chief didn't do that as well. I, again, I'm looking out for the best interests of the city. There's 60,000 residents. There's about 25 people here. Most of them, half of them disagree with me all the time. The other half, okay, so they see me at baseball, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure they never read the reports. But I've talked to a lot of people out in the community that are disgusted by it. And I just don't see how this is going to work. We're going to be back here in six months again. So, you know, I. I, I he broke his own department's policies. 
Robert's rules. The motion has been made. Calm down. Great stop.